Feeling texture is something we humans do without thinking. We rub a thumb across a surface, and the tiny bumps and valleys create vibrations in our skin, interpreted by our brains as texture. Robots are learning to do something similar. By equipping robot fingers with high-resolution tactile sensors, often combined with sensitive accelerometers or vibrometers, they can slide their fingertips across a surface. As they slide, the interaction between the sensorized skin and the surface texture creates unique vibration patterns. Different textures create different patterns. A rough surface will cause more erratic, higher frequency vibrations than a smooth one. The robot system captures these vibrations and sophisticated algorithms, often powered by machine learning trained on data from many materials, analyze the patterns to identify the texture. It's like the robot is reading Braille at high speed, interpreting the microscopic landscape through vibration. Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. Recent research is pushing the boundaries here, creating flexible e-skins with microstructures that mimic human fingerprints to enhance sensitivity to these subtle textural vibrations, allowing robots to distinguish between an ever wider variety of materials just by touch. They can tell the difference between polished metal and matte plastic, smooth glass and rough wood, giving them crucial information about the object they hold and how best to manipulate it. Temperature sensing in robotics might seem less critical for a basic grip, but it adds another layer of intelligence to the interaction. Our hands tell us instantly if something is too hot to handle, literally. Robot tactile sensors are incorporating tiny thermistors or other temperature-sensitive elements. These sensors don't just measure the absolute temperature of the object. They can also detect the rate of heat transfer when contact is made. This is important because how quickly heat flows tells you something about the material metal feels colder than plastic at the same temperature because it conducts heat away from your hand faster. By measuring this heat flow, the robot can gain clues about the object's material properties, adding another data point to its understanding of what it's holding. It also serves a practical purpose, avoiding damage to sensitive components or the robot itself. If an object is too hot or too cold, adding a layer of safety and awareness. Researchers are developing faster, more responsive thermal sensors integrated into flexible skins so the robot gets this thermal information almost instantaneously upon contact, much like we do. Perhaps one of the most critical tactile senses for knowing you've really got hold of something is the detection of vibration, specifically the subtle micro-vibrations that signal the onset of slip. When an object starts to slide from a grip, there are tiny, often imperceptible tremors generated at the contact surface. Our nervous system is remarkably good at picking these up and triggering a corrective tightening of the grip before we even consciously register the object is slipping. Robots are learning this trick. By embedding highly sensitive vibration sensors within their grippers or tactile skins, they can detect these nascent slip vibrations. These sensors are often designed to be incredibly fast, because in the world of preventing dropped objects, milliseconds matter. Algorithms analyze the frequency and amplitude of the detected vibrations. A sudden increase in higher frequency vibrations is a telltale sign that the object is losing its stable hold and beginning to slide. This immediate feedback allows the robot's control system to react with lightning speed, adjusting the grip force or repositioning the fingers to reestablish a secure hold. So, when a modern robot really grabs on, it's not just a matter of applying force. It's a sophisticated symphony of sensing. Four sensors tell it the overall pressure. Tactile arrays provide a detailed pressure map, showing the points of contact. Embedded temperature sensors give clues about the material and thermal state. Vibration sensors listen for the subtle tremors of texture and, 
critically, the early warnings of SLIP. All this rich sensory data flows into the robot's processing unit, often interpreted by complex AI algorithms that have learned to make sense of this flood of information. They combine the pressure readings with the textual vibrations, the thermal conductivity cues with the slip signals, building a comprehensive picture of the object and the quality of the grip. This multimodal approach, combining different types of tactile sensing, is the key to achieving human-level dexterity and robustness in robotic manipulation. It allows robots to not only grasp objects firmly, but also to handle them appropriately, gently with fragile items, firmly with heavy ones, adapting to different shapes, textures, and temperatures. The ongoing research in flexible electronics, nanomaterials, and biomimetic designs is constantly expanding the capabilities of these artificial senses creating robot skins and fingertips that are increasingly sensitive and perceptive. We're moving towards a future where robots won't just perform tasks based on pre-programmed movements, but will truly interact with the physical world, feeling their way through tasks with a nuanced sense of touch that allows for unprecedented levels of adaptability, precision, and perhaps, eventually, even a form of physical empathy. They are learning the silent, complex language of contact, becoming more capable, more aware, and in their own way, more connected to the world they inhabit, one sensed vibration, pressure point, and temperature change at a time. So let me summarize the whole thing. We humans feel texture, texture of anything. Uh, it could be human skin, it could be any type of human body parts, or a microphone, a computer, light switch, in the dark room, anything. We feel texture through vibrations created when touching any surface. That is the primary thing, that is the most basic thing. Okay. Robots are learning th this the same thing by using high resolution tactile sensors and accelerometers on their fingertips. So therefore, your robot partner fills your uh, body parts through its fingertips by using mainly two things. One is tactile sensor. Second thing is accelerometer. I'll talk about uh, accelerometer and tactile sensors both in separate videos. Uh, in fact, it will take uh, more than one videos to describe them, to uh, know them, to explain them. Now, as this slide, I mean, as they slide their hands, unique vibration patterns are generated for different textures, which uh, algorithms, often using machine learning, analyze to identify the material. That means almost the same thing happens for us, because how do we know that it's a light switch or it's uh, a human hand or leg? Recent research is improving this with flexible e-skins mimicking human fingertips for enhanced sensitivity that has been implanted into uh, your robot partners. And it allows robots to distinguish a wide range of materials. Now, temperature sensing is a different thing, but it adds another layer. Robot sensors incorporating uh, thermistors measure not just temperature but also the rate of heart uh, uh, rate of heat heat transfer sorry providing clues about material properties like conductivity and preventing damage from extreme temperatures crucially robots are also developing the ability to detect subtle vibration that signal the start of slippage much like humans, much like us. How does it happen? Sensitive vibration sensors embedded in grippers can detect these micro tremors instantly. Fast algorithms analyze these vibrations to detect slip, allowing the robot to quickly adjust its grip and prevent dropping the object. 
So therefore, uh, the mechanism is something like that. The first step is sensitive vibration sensors. It is embedded in grippers. Second step is grippers can detect these micro tremors. That means very tiny vibrations instantly. Third step is we need fast algorithms. It's a different types of algorithms, different types of instructions given to your robot partner that analyzes these uh, vibrations to detect sleep or something else. So this multimodal approach, combining force, pressuring, mapping, texture, temperature, and sleep detection, of course, are key to achieving human level dexterity. It's not an easy task. It's a very complex task. By integrating this rich sensory data and interpreting it with artificial intelligence or AI, robots can understand objects better, handle them appropriately, and interact with the physical world with increasing adaptability and precision. They are learning the complex language of touch to become more capable and aware. It's going on. Of course, it's going on. The process is going on. Scientists, researchers, engineers are working on it tirelessly to make your robot partner better and better. So, thanks for joining this journey. Hope you have uh, enjoyed the information for your robot partners. And I have a request to make that if possible, please sign up for our membership zone. I usually upload different videos for members. And you can also get the other benefits like uh, you can see the uh, videos earlier than the normal subscribers as members. Of course, scheduled videos uh, you can watch earlier. And of course, the major thing is, main thing is, it supports Woodenslet to, and not only that, it motivates uh, me to create more videos like this to get you, uh, to uh, provide you more information on your robot partners. So, again, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye, stay safe, and take care.